Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion, bringing you another McFarlane Toys review, this time looking at our first Assassin's Creed figure. This is Jacob Fry from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's a brand new figure, and I believe that outside of the UK, this is an exclusive figure, so this may be hard to find for some of you. It should retail for around 10 to 15 pounds. Um, luckily, like I say, in the UK, this isn't an exclusive, so it's pretty easy to find at retail. This figure includes several accessories, including a cane sword that can be split in two, a folded down hidden blade that's on the other side of this gauntlet, a extended hidden blade piece that can be swapped out for it, and two revolver pistols. The figure itself is articulated, has some great sculpt detail, and some perfect paint applications. So quite surprisingly for an assassin figure, this figure isn't exactly highly articulated. This is pretty much the highest kind of variety of extension of limbs you can get. Um, the coat does heavily limit the shoulders. I believe they are actually ball jointed, but because of the hard plastic of the coat, you can pretty much not move those and you can only start moving the arms at the elbow. However, that still does allow you to get some sort of diversity in the poses. As you can see here, I've managed to replicate poses from the game fairly well. You can get a wide stance with the legs, but that's pretty much it. Um, they don't bend very well at the knee at all. Again, somewhat because of the coat, but they just bend that far. That was not a big movement, um, so it's not really enough to have him climbing or anything. Um, I guess the best solution to fix this would have been to have a uh, soft goods cloak, so it would have been actually material, which is like what Hasbro used on Star Wars figures. Um, it is a bit of a shame that that's not the case here. It is a nice display piece, it is a nice figure, there's a lot of detail, so no complaints there. Um, but practically wise, it just doesn't really cut it for me. You do however get some great details. Underneath the coat you get um, a little sculpted sheath for his Kukri knife. Uh, that knife isn't included, that is a different version of this figure. But they've still included the detail because that is always there on the costume in the game. You also have a nice Master Assassin Bracer here. With some great painted details for the rope launcher, the uh, gold knuckle dusters and the Assassin's Blade on the inside of the hand which I'll just kind of rotate here. As you can see, it's just sculpted on. That does pull out and it can be replaced with the extended one here, depending on which weapons you want to use. It would get in the way if this hand is holding anything, which is why I'm not using it right now. But it's a fantastic piece. It does the job perfectly well. And the level of detail in there for the rope launch and everything, it's just fantastic. Another great feature as well is that the uh, hood can be removed, like in-game, just to reveal his head normally. It does have the uh, mutton chop kind of beard going along this bottom of the and side of his head. Um, it is really nicely detailed. I do prefer him with his hood on though. I'm not a fan of this hair sculpt. It does look a bit weird. It, it's meant to be like just kind of an uncut rough kind of her design, but I, f I feel that all assassins should kind of wear their hoods, so the hood pretty much stays on for me. As you can see, some of the sculpt work on this figure is absolutely fantastic. You have the nice sculpted assassin logo um, on the belt, some nice weathering effects on the red sash and on the belts themselves. Really fantastic pieces, and it just shows what McFarlane can do in terms of sculpt. Now taking a look at the cane sword here, it's a fantastic piece, it has a nice ripple detail across, across the main body of it, and of course the uh, top of it is the vulture piece as well. This can pull out and be the sword bit itself. As you can see you also get the blade here. It is a bit of a shame that that doesn't either A fold up or B kind of just pull off, um, so it is always kind of a deployed cane, you can't actually have it as a hidden cane. A little bit of a shame there I think, uh, missed opportunity. But I guess because it's so small, maybe they were limited. So it's still a nice piece, and it's probably my favourite piece from this set because it is so unique. We've never really seen a cane sword in Assassin's Creed before, so it's just a nice piece and makes uh, this assassin stand out. You also get two pistols for this figure as well. These can be plugged into the jacket with these little notches here. However, they do kind of stand out as they clip to the outside of the jacket. They aren't hidden like they are in game. A little bit of a shame that that's the case. Um, I did try to fit them inside the jacket, but it just won't really work. Um, so it is a bit of a design flaw if you want them kind of holstered as it were. It also is a bit of a pain to kind of get him to grip him. Not only does it surprise his hand out to be wider, which means he can't grip the other accessories easily, but he can't really get his finger around the trigger, so it does look kind of awkward for imposing. 
They are, however, nice pieces with the nice textured sculpted detail and the nice gold paint application. If you can make this guy look cool while holding them in a pose, then it's really recommended as they are nice pieces and welcome to this figure. So overall you get a great figure with some nice sculpted detail and paint application. Yes the articulation is a little bit limited but as an assassin it is just absolutely fantastic to have this guy on your shelf. He goes well with the rest of the Assassin's Creed lineup no doubt um, and even with the limited articulation you can still get some interesting poses. Um, I'm happy with how he's posed right now. So for me this figure does do its job. Uh, some will complain but I still highly recommend this figure and hopefully we do see Evie Fry, his sister, in the forthcoming wave. So that's it for this review. We will be looking at more Halo, Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty sets in the coming weeks. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!